Yes. It's still. But you can't be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with the steel if you know what I mean. Keep it real. Keep it real. Keeping it real. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Steven and this is Steel Keeping It Real. So you know what today is. Looking good, Billy Ray! That's right, it is Yacht Rock Wednesday. And on this day, I like to feature adult contemporary hits from the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, eh, I'm not sure. But they're normally of a Caucasian persuasion. So the next song that I am doing is from 1974. 12 seconds later. Four. <laughs> Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. The song is from 1974. And this is Neil Sedaka's Laughter in the Rain. Now, for some reason, you know, imagine a, a five year old me hearing this song when it came out. And this song just kind of brings a little bit of joy just in the way that the music is arranged. Now, of course, a five-year-old me doesn't understand really the subject matter, but even an older me now looking back at it finds nothing offensive about the subject matter. Now, I did look into other versions of this, like Johnny Mathis did a version of this a year later, and uh, then a group called Vitamin E, E did a disco version of this song in 1977 and I listened to both versions. Mathis, eh, he was okay, but the vitamin E version? Boo! 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 Muck! Boo! Boo! Yeah, just because you disco it up or you know make it sound sultry or whatever which there's nothing sultry really about this song it, it was just so wrong to do so one of the things i learned is that you know sadaka was a person who had hits in the 50s and in the 60s as a solo artist you know he had songs like breaking up is hard to do in calendar girl and things like that but he had a hard time in the late 60s early 70s because you know Sometimes you, you, you run its course until he wrote this particular song. He wrote the music, but he has a partner that he's been writing with uh, for years. I believe his name is called Cody, Cody, Phil Cody. Phil Cody is his name and um, has helped him write a whole lot of songs, hundreds of songs. Helped him write this song and, you know, released it and it's a great great song it's again it just it just makes you feel like everything is right with the world and that's one of the things about you know yacht rock uh that i like to play is that it's it makes you feel good it makes you feel like everything's right with the world and if you had a yacht, the sun would be shining, you have your sunglasses on, you'd be drinking champagne with strawberries in it, you know, that kind of thing. So, um, you know, they're just feel-good songs. Now, let's take a look at what this song did on the charts and Balamo. This song went to number 17 in Australia, number 2 in Canada, number 1 on the Canadian Adult Contemporary, number 35 on the Netherlands Dutch Top 40, number 15 in the UK, number 1 on the Billboard Hot 100, number 1 on the Billboard Adult Contemporary, Temporary, number one on the U.S. Cashbox Top 100, and number two on the Yugoslavia Singles Charts, and that is the first time Yugoslavia has shown up on these charts. So, if you like videos like this and others on the channel, please don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification button, because I'm doing at least 15 videos each and every week. So, 
without any further ado, here is Laughter in the Rain. And here we go. slow fade as far as the video is concerned, but I'm still not mad at it. You know, one of the things about being uh, older and doing this channel is that I am afforded the opportunity of hearing the song one-on-one -on -one with headphones on. And I will tell you, um, phonically and uh, the production on this song, it's great. It sounds lush, especially the harmonies on the chorus. And, you know, when that actually comes in, you actually feel that rush of joy, you know, come into your life. And you just feel all happy inside, as the song suggests. Um, you know, his voice for this particular song just works perfectly. Because, I, like I said, I heard the Johnny Mathis version. There's not as good as a production value on that one. And then, like I said, the other version we're not even going to talk about. But um, here's the other weird thing. This was one of the first songs that he brought over to... Uh, Elton John's record company because like I said he had a time period where there was nothing going on uh, Elton John and Sadaka met at a party in 1973 when John learned Sadaka had no American record label he suggests Sadaka sign with his rocket record company limited and Sadaka accepted the prop proposition. Uh, when John visited Sadaka at his London apartment, they discussed plans for relaunching his career in the United States. John said he had always been a Sadaka fan anyway. He went on to say, so the basic plan was as simple as 
finding out what he wanted to have on his album, which turned out to be a compilation from his British albums. It had been like Elvis coming up and giving us the chance to release his records. We couldn't believe our luck. One lucky son bitch. And, you know, the rest is kind of like history because, you know, when you saw a clip of the video, or, or I think the way this uh, it starts off, it says, Sadaka's greatest hits 1974 to 1980 so he has some 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 success during those years he had also had a, a version of love will keep us together which I listened to which eh, his version wasn't it, it, it was okay vocally he wasn't the right person to sing that song it was perfect for captain and to and what they brought to the table and their product their production value that captain to had at the time and that became a number one hit so that also happens during that time frame as well so neil sadaka i think is you know for especially for maybe my generation or the generation that comes after me is somebody who is very unsung but if you if I see all these other reactors who are reacting to songs you know react to some Neil Sedaka whether it be from the 50s 60s 70s you know react to some Neil Sedaka I think he deserves more play if you are still here I thank you very much for staying tuned I really do appreciate it first and foremost I want you guys to like the videos as much as I like making them for you after that all you need to do to help me out with the channel is to like subscribe share and comment peace